S21 question based on center of mass and this is from HC Verma. In this case, we need to find the x coordinate of the center of mass relative to the origin shown. So we have seven bricks here. They are of same length L. Each brick is displaced with respect to the one in contact by L by 10. So that means that each brick has been displaced by L by 10. So let us make a y axis here. This is y axis. This is O as origin. And here, let us mark all the center of masses here for each brick. It will be somewhere here. So this is, these are all the center of masses for each brick. Now, as it says that each of each brick has a length L, that means the total length for each brick is L. Now, if I mark this part from O to center of the mass, that means this is L by 2. And now they said that it has been displaced by L by 10. So that means the distance between 1 and 2 has been displaced by L by 10. Let me make a bigger figure to make you understand better. So this is the center of mass. This is the center of mass. Though, so the length for each brick is L. That means half length will be L by 2. And it has been said that it has been displaced by L by 10. So that means each brick has been displaced by L by 10. So let us write the x coordinate of the center of mass in this case. So it will be x cm m for the first one it is displaced uh, it is at L by 2. So I will write m product of L by 2. Then we have m then it says that it has been displaced by L by 10. So L by 2 will be there then I need to add L by 10 to it. Now the next one M. Now it has been displaced double because again it has been displaced by L by 10. So it will be L by 2. Then you need to write 2L by 10 because L by 10 is twice. Now let us write the next one for the next one. So L by 2 plus 3L by 10 for the, for the fourth one. I have done for this, done for this, done for this, done for this. Now the fifth one has been displaced to the left. So we need to remove the L by 10 one time. So plus N L by 2 plus 3L by 10. Then we need to remove 1L by 10 from it because it has been displaced to the left. Now for the sixth brick, so it will be M as it is, L by 2 plus 3L by 10. Now it has been displaced twice, so it will be 2L by 10. Now the last one, it will be M L plus 3L by 10 minus 3L by 10 because it has been move thrice so it will be 3l by 10 in the last so this will be 3l by 10 now we have started from l by 2 and we have ended with L by 2 here. So as you can see that they are at the same position, the first one and the seventh one. They are actually at the same distance. Therefore, we have same answer for last one and the first one, ML2 and ML2. So let us solve this part now and write the denominator as well for this. So it will be 7M. Why? Because we have 7 bricks here. So it will be divided by 7m. So taking m common from numerator, 
and we have 7m at denominator so m and m gets cancelled out so we are left with l by 2 the next one we need to solve this part so it will be 6 l by 10 taking lcm need to solve the third part again take lcm for this it will be 7 l by 10 again take lcm for the fourth part it will be 5 plus 3 8 l 10 in this uh, the fifth one it will be 2 l by 10 and 12 by 10 is 6 l by 10 now for the sixth one it will be l by 10 that means second one sorry it will be 7 l this will be 6 l by 10 again and the last one is l by 2 only so 1 by 7 taking l common from all the terms we are left with 1 by 2, 6 by 10, 7 by 10, 8 by 10, 7 by 10, 6 by 10 and 1 by 2. So taking LCM again, L by 7, taking 10 common. So we can multiply it with 5 and the last term as well. So this will be 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5. So when I solve this, I get my answer as L over 7, 44 over 10. And we can reduce this. This will be 44L, 70 or you can write it as 22L, 35. So this is the answer for this this question. Thank you for watching this.